Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, a little bit of a busier day today with showers and storms plaguing the area, and we certainly could use the rain and some rumbles of big thunder as well. All associated with the disturbance out here in the Gulf of Mexico, not as organized as it looked earlier in the day, but certainly this feature is going to be dominating our weather patterns, slinging more deep tropical moisture our way over the next two to three days at least. And uh, there could be some locally very heavy rainfall involved as well. So we have this tropical disturbance is going to head toward the Texas coast and then it's going to move northward. The question is, does it move into Louisiana? Does it make a harder right turn, which the graph model is kind of suggesting, but the graph model kind of giving us a bird dog that uh, there could be some uh, flooding rains in the mix as well. So we'll see how that plays out. So as we come on in here, six hours worth of all the regional Doppler radars. You can see uh, good soaking across the area this afternoon. Power Doppler three indicating heaviest storms now up toward Allen and and eastern portions of Beauregard Parish. Uh, some uh, pretty heavy downpours here. Showers northern par parts of Jeff Davis and Acadia Parish, and Lafayette Parish, St. Martin Parish as well. You can see heaviest action just west of the Oakdale area. And then as we get into eastern portions of Beauregard Parish, a fair bit of cloud to ground lightning going on here. Rainfall mainly I-10 on northward in Lafayette Parish. Farther south, some sprinkles and some heavier showers as we get just north of Henderson and to the swamp and then working its way into uh, southern St. Landry Parish. And this activity will stick around a couple of more hours and then dissipate as we lose the daytime heating. You can see the storms blowing up across Louisiana this afternoon. Our tropical disturbance down here, which the National Hurricane Center still giving about a 40% chance of development, but it's primarily going to be a heavy rainmaker, Texas to Louisiana or somewhere offshore in between. So we're going to have to watch that closely. Elsewhere in the tropical Atlantic this week, tropical wave still giving us uh, some pause to uh, keep an eye on as the GFS model eventually develops this system and brings it toward the Gulf. We'll see. And then uh, number two here, potential tropical cyclone number two, still not a tropical storm yet. Awfully close to South America and this is going to be limited on its development. Tropical storm warnings uh, for northwestern Venezuela. Also a hurricane watch just posted this afternoon for portions of Nicaragua as it'll be close to a hurricane uh, once it gets out here in the open waters and then eventually crosses over into the Pacific and could redevelop in the Pacific, at which point it would get a different name. So here's the graph model, what we were talking about earlier, showers and storms poised with the system offshore. Some of that activity trying to work its way inland tomorrow, but we're going to go with another 60% chance of scattered tropical showers and thunderstorms. Models always have a hard time wrestling with these very poorly organized systems. And then as we head into Friday, it looks like more locally heavy rain rainfall across the region and this latest model run is concentrating some of the heavier storms offshore earlier today was bringing it inland but the bottom line there's going to be some pretty good rainfall totals now we look at the european model this is a little bit cruder model than our high resolution models but you can see the heaviest rainfall three to five inches or more texas coast up through southeastern uh, texas and southwestern louisiana and here's the graph model higher resolution but it's probably going to be more wrong in spots but notice we're seeing a lot of yellow showing up across the coastal parishes. That corresponds to five, eight to eight inches of rain. So we're going to have to watch that closely. 74, the overnight low as showers diminish early this evening. Going into tomorrow, uh, we're going to see rain chances back up at 60% with uh, lots of cloud cover out there. So we're not going to get much uh, warmer than the mid 80s. That'll be a nice change with showers and storms coming in during the course of the afternoon. 60% your rain chance tomorrow will go 80% Friday with some local heavy rains and going into the weekend uh, we're looking at pretty decent rain chances hopefully toning down a little bit as we head into next week. That's it for weather for right now. We're going to have more coming up right after the break.